Hello and welcome to another day dose of insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian, and every other day we bring to you the key news, stories, and data points that move container markets, and hence your business. Today it's Wednesday, uh, so we typically look at some charts uh, of the week, uh, locations or price trends that are particularly interesting uh, to look at. Let me just quickly share my screen with you um, to give you a little bit more guidance of what I'm talking about. Um, number one, uh, we start with our exchange uh, container sentiment index. Um, as you can see here, it holds up quite well since about uh, the beginning of September. Um, the sentiment index uh, is basically um, asking, or for the sentiment index, we're basically asking industry participants to give us an assessment of whether container prices will move up, down, or stay stable in the weeks to come. Uh, and out of that, we can produce an index with um, sort of a, a reading above zero indicating um, an improvement in, in prices or an increase in prices. Um, <clears throat> over the past couple of weeks, this has been relatively stable with optimism in the market, which has been uh, quite surprising, um, sort of uh, considering the overcapacity in the market. But if you then uh, look at our insights, and now this is sort of the trading spot rates um, here uh, on, on exchange. Um, um, I've now picked out uh, Shanghai and Hamburg, um, 40 foot high cube uh, cargo worth here uh, just for a second. Then you can see here actually since September, yes, uh, prices specifically in Shanghai have uh, continued to strengthen, whereas in Hamburg, the opposite was actually true. So it might be interesting to have a, a regionalized uh, sentiment index. Uh, prices for political actives have continuously um, decreased uh, now to a level of around about uh, 1,200 uh, US dollars. How does this look like uh, sort of across the regions? Um, so China, Netherlands, Germany, we picked here, and you see. Um, uh, sort of the, 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 the prices as well as the week and week uh, changes. You see spe specifically Chinese locations um, very, very strong uh, last week, which you also see here up, up on, the, uh, on the graph. And um, whereas uh, uh, European German locations, specifically in the uh, sort of uh, not the main uh, ports, main locations, Bremen, Mannheim, et cetera, have uh, weakened significantly. And also Hamburg is here with a week and week price change of negative 5.5%. Um, in other regions, so this is the 30-day uh, price change, you see Middle East uh, performing particularly strong. Also, North America holds up quite well over the last month. Um, and then you have sort of all the um, uh, uh, Latin American uh, countries performing uh, significantly uh, weaker. Um, and then, yeah, you have sort of Europe and um, Northeast Asia that includes China somewhere in the middle um, with a relatively stable um, price change. How does this look like? Um, on a 90-day um, horizon, um, also here mostly negative, um, which is uh, contrary to our sentiment index, but Southern Africa has held up uh, particularly well and also the least, um, sort of a bright spot on that horizon. Um, well, that's it from me, from us for today. Just a very quick um, look at the market uh, current trends. Uh, of course, it's very, very interesting uh, to see what's happening specifically on the container liner side. We'll talk a lot about that a little bit more on Friday in our fundamentals Friday, um, sort of considering the potentially changes in the strategic uh, direction by Maersk and other carriers and really sort of entering a price war uh, on uh, some of the main trades. That's it for me. Have a fantastic uh, rest of the day and uh, talk soon. Bye-bye.